So the moment has arrived where he's going to cut out 17 feet out of that side to open up to be my kitchen. So I've already temporarily moved my temporary kitchen over to the side. Uh, we just kind of pulled the refrigerator back. But that's what he's about to start on. He's gonna cut it out in sections. So let's get started. So, we're about to get going. Ground me a nice little clean, clean piece of metal for my, uh, for my cutting ground clamp so that we can uh, have some clean cuts. Uh, we're about to get started. On the back side, I actually have some board covering up any of the stuff we have back there. Um, the wife will kind of be checking it out every now and then just to make sure that nothing uh, caught on fire while we're working. Um, that's kind of a, a safety thing. A lot of um, businesses have like a hot work permit thing where you got to have somebody that's to fire watch and stuff like that and different time frames and everything like that. So we're going to kind of try to make sure we do a little bit of those safety practices, make sure that we don't burn the house down while we're working. So let's get at it. Oops, forgot to turn the air compressor on for the, for the plasma cutter. You trying to burn down the house? <laughs> yeah. And that's only one piece. Well, I think what I might just do is, uh, I don't have to cut that low. No, because, uh, the floor is built up. Yeah. All right.
as you can see, we kind of got this all finished up here. Um, up here in the corner, there's kind of a little weird cut. Um, that's not really weird because it's, we did it weird, but it's actually gonna be like that because I have to move this wall and we have to clean out some of the other side of the container and get rid of some more stuff once again to make room. And then this wall will be coming down. The beam's gonna go all the way to this cut right here. Um, this piece below is gonna get removed and we're gonna put our six by six uh, wood support there for, to finish off the look. That's why it has that weird cut. Um, but that's what we've got going on now. And uh, next time you'll see us uh, putting in the metal beam support across the top and hopefully the wood uh, supports on the side as well. And that's what we got. Thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Don't forget you can also uh, jump on our Patreon page and help us as we go along this building project. Thanks for all the support and watching us as we go along. Have a good day.